Hershberger. On this show, we watch films in the theater and then we tell you what we think about them. We sure do. And uh, this week, we got. Oh, wait, nope. Uh huh. Again. Okay. We sure do, and if you don't have time to go to the theaters, you can always go to netflix.com slash sourcefed and get a free month of instant streaming on Netflix and watch movies there. But since we didn't do that, no, we went to the theater. We saw Riddick today. We did. In this movie, uh, Riddick, played by Vin Diesel, is stranded on a planet that is not the planet he originally thought it was, and lots of different things try to attack him, including um, other people that come down to the planet to get him, because there's a bounty for him. So this film stars Vin Diesel, who I'm a huge fan of and I like a lot. Also, Katie Sackhoff and Katie Sackhoff's boobs. Yeah, yeah, well, one of them, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pay attention. You, you might miss it. It's a little hidden. You probably won't. Jordi Molo is in this movie uh, with some of the worst lines I've ever heard read aloud by a human being actor. Don't step on my dick. What is this guy, a Zulu warlock? What screenwriter came up with that? Probably the same one who said, my toes are Punisher pink, and then Riddick says, just like your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> also, Carl Urban is in this film for all of four seconds. I don't know why he's the second build, but hey, he looks good. Maybe he read the script and was like, yeah, I got a half a day on set to give you. So, quick review, you're gonna go to the movie theater right now. Should you see Riddick? No! <laughs> My quick review is much like Meg's. If you've seen everything else that's out there and you're just looking to kill a few hours, Sure, go see Riddick, but if you have anything else to do with your day, don't go see Riddick. Now it's time for likes and grace. I could see in the dark of Riddick. <laughs> <laughs> you like that sound effect? Uh, uh -huh. So my likes in this film are uh, Riddick teams up with a dog in this movie, which I really like. I really love the dog. It's super cute, and um, it was easily the best part of this movie. It's not also, really a dog. It's more like a hyena. Vin Diesel, I love, and he is easily the best part of this movie. So if you're not a fan of Vin Diesel's acting, that's where this movie sets the bar. <laughs> Um, <laughs> bonus points for boobies, because not only does Katie Sackhoff get topless, there are boobies at the beginning of the movie with a lot of nameless bitches. And then... Wait, where were those boobies? That was when they were talking about when he was, like, the king. And then oh, the yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was some vajay there, too. There was vajay. What kind of vajay was it, It Meg? was clean-shaven <laughs> vajay. Okay. <laughs> you thought that you were going to say. Right? You oh thought about God. it, too. You were like, oh, advanced warrior civilization. They have waxing there. Yep. Okay. Also, bonus points for naked Vin Diesel. You don't get to see the whole goods, but you do see like a weird bikini bows he does on top of a mountain once. It's, uh, I mean, it's worth mentioning. His hiney looks nice. Ooh. It was a nice hiney. <laughs> and that's where my likes end. My gripes Your are, gripes. Uh, there's so many things that are said in this film that you're like, really? Oh. I just felt like it was really ridiculous over the top. And I have to mention that the CG in this film oh. is the worst. Ugh. So my likes and gripes are kind of along similar lines. Uh, my likes were not the dog. Uh, my likes, ooh, what were my likes? <laughs> if this movie was meant to be a comedy, it was fantastic and I enjoyed the entire thing. My gripes would definitely be the special effects. I think I could have made better uh, backgrounds for I'm on a hover motorcycle as planets whizzing by me. Like it literally seemed like there was a PA behind them holding a moving like wall of what the planet would look like. It was so bad. It wasn't painful to watch this film, but it, it wasn't good. No good. So that leads me to uh, my final thoughts, which would be uh, it, didn't, it, it didn't physically pain me to watch this film but it wasn't great either. And if you're just looking to waste a couple of hours and, you know, be slightly entertained, you'll probably have a good time. So I'm gonna give this movie a nice, even, right in the middle, five out of 10. Oh, you're so nice. My final thoughts, I love Vin Diesel. Baby, I, why you hurt me? Cause I don't wanna hurt you. And uh, boobies and also um, funny lines. We did have a great time watching it. If you're not completely sober, this film is going to be pretty yeah, enjoyable. It was an awful film, but you, you, there, there are two hours of your life that you may not wish to repeat, but they were a fine two hours while they happened. I would even say they're not a fine two hours, <laughs> but there are two hours that happened in your life. I'm gonna give this film a four out of 10. <laughs> But we're not the only ones who got a chance to watch this movie. On IMDb right now, Riddick has a 7.6 out of 10 user score. I don't know. Me not know how that happened. On Rotten Tomatoes right now, it has a 58% from critics and a 76% from audiences. Who are these audiences? Is it Vin Diesel's family voting over and over again? <laughs> I think it could just be audiences that know they're going in 
expecting less than spectacular things from this film, and they get what they're looking for. So yay, 76%. I guess. I knew what I was going in for, because I love Vin Diesel and all his movies, and come on now. How all about right. how about the line, I don't fuck men. I just fuck them up. So that's it for New Movie Thing Show, guys. Uh, don't forget, if you can't go to the theater this weekend, you can always go to netflix.com slash source mm -hmm. to get a free month of instant streaming, and then you can join us on Movie Club. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Trisha Hershberger. I'm gonna take you out on a date, Trisha. Only after you ask me real sweet, like. I gotta ask you something, Miss Turney. <laughs> but I'm gonna ask it real sweet, like. <laughs>